All right. <laughs> okay. Here's the situation. Is there at least a way to... Here's the situation. Um, today I got home from a long day of uh, computer games. And this, there's this box waiting for me that seems to be from the, the, the Japan Crate corporate family of sites. No, it's not a Homestuck shirt. They, um, I'm literally still f wearing this. <laughs> um, it's Anwanaguchi and Miku. Um, oh my god, that last shot of me. Holy shit, that was awful. So this thing is, uh, I actually don't fucking know. <laughs> I'm assuming that it's got a bunch of noodles in it. Because there's noodles in, like, the word. So I'm gonna bust it open. I got a, a cool knife. I'm gonna get it. How do I, what's the best way to go about this? I guess I... <laughs> uh, Ian says bring in Andy. Uh, Andy's not here, dude. Look, no Andy. Andy's absent. Andy's out of town, so I can't bring in Andy. But, although, like, if you go to my uh, Twitch channel, I brought in Andy for the... This is going really good. <laughs> for my last Japan Crate uh, receipt. <laughs> and, uh... Fuck. Come on. I am being careful. What are you talking about? <laughs> it says don't damage the noodles. Well, sometimes if you've got, like, a, a packet of ramen noodles, you do kind of want to crush them up beforehand. So we're going to experience the flavors of Japan through noodles. This is good because I'm... Oh, that's cute. I'm... Holy shit, I can hear the noodles. I'm going to change this music. This... Just kidding, it's good, actually. Um... All right, is this the first... Yeah, it's the first one of these. That's I guess that explains why I haven't heard of it. Welcome to the first Umai crate. And it's got a bunch of words. And then an explanation. I could go through this booklet and it would tell me what all's in it. But rather than do that, um, I'm about to just fucking go in it. Raw dog. Alright. Get some yakisoba. It's that Ipei Chan yakisoba Japanese style noodles. Uh, what else is going on in here? We got this. Uh, you know what? On second thought, I am going to have to fucking hop into the book. There's directions on it, though. Ooh. Intriguing. It's kind of, is this like a sort of a pseudo, like, Italian pasta thing? Um. <laughs> thanks, Ian. Yeah, it does look kind of nice in here. When it's just me and Chad, it's funny how, how beautiful things are. Some tonkotsu ramen. Damn, I wonder, I've never had, like, I feel like all my experiences with home ramen have been, like, the iconic top ramen situation. Never, like, a pork broth vibe. This is probably, honestly, if I pick one of these, it's probably gonna be that. We got this Ichiban Shio ramen. Um, some miso ramen. Damn! A little bit of everything. A little bit of something for everybody. I'm a definitely a tonkatsu boy. So that's gonna be what I get in some Korean noodles. Um, and then, oh, that's adorable. Are these like chopsticks for teaching a baby how to, yeah, they literally, children learning chopsticks. It's a little, maybe a little condescending, but I can, I can make it work. All right. Ian says, how much is this? I don't know. They just mailed it. Literally, it's <laughs> it says baby on it. <laughs> Look at these laughing babies. This is ev this is every this is everyone who's ever used chopsticks before laughing at me for using these bab <laughs> bab ones. Um, well, okay, I think I am gonna flip through this book with because I feel like it's gonna have some answers for me. All right. I love it. It's like it's like getting my wine pairings explained. You got that pepperoncino spaghetti. It's a lighter oil-based pasta. So I don't know if I don't know if people know this. I don't think this is like common knowledge. It definitely was news to me. Uh, but Japan fucking owns that Italian food. Like for real, it's so good there. 
It's like Japan has notoriously great Italian food. It's something that people who've been there a lot will always tell you when you ask for food recommendations. I don't know how good their instant uh, Italian food is. Ooh, that's a staff pick. That's a good point. Is it the yakisoba? Yeah, it's the yakisoba. Um, got that kimchi noodle soup. That's the bonus item. Hashi or chopsticks are used by Japanese daily, but most of the population uses their chopsticks the wrong way. Training hashi is no longer just for children, but also for adults to retrain their hands to use chopsticks properly. When you're your crates, whether you're a novice or an expert, you make sure your chopstick form is on point. Uh, well, here's what I'm leaning towards. I'm loving the zoom feature. I don't think I've used Periscope since, like, zooming was this this prominent. Sephora Ichiban Tonkatsu Ramen. Tonkatsu broth is typically made from pork bones, but this one's made from chicken. Okay, is that even Tonkatsu? All right. The result is creamy and less heavy flavor. This is precious, by the way, that they think I'm going <laughs> to shred chicken and sounds and boiled egg. I'm literally, like, in what universe I could put, I'm probably just going to put this in it, because I put that in all my instant noodles, because I'm extremely white. Um, well, word. I think this is what I'm, I'm going to go with. They say it's with chicken, but that's, that looks like pork in the JPEG. Not that that's what's in the thing. In a small pot, bring two cups of water to boil. I think I can handle that. Is this too, is this a good size? Maybe that's the right size. Let's ballpark it. That'll, that'll hold too. Ian, this pot probably goes back to when you lived here. So I, <laughs> here's an embarrassing part of my life. Check this out. I need two cups of water and I'm neurotic enough that I need to know that it's exactly two cups or I can't, I just can't. So what I, <laughs> we don't have any measuring cups for a cup right now. Uh, but what we do have is this half cup one and this three quarters cup one. So when I need two cups of water, I just fill up a three quarter cup, dump that in there, take a three quarter cup, dump that in there. Now we're at six six fourths of a cup of water. Then I t then I take my half cup and that makes eight fourths. I did it. It's a fucking my life is a math problem. My life is like a sixth grade math problem. All right. Come on. Okay. I think this is how water works. That looks, I wonder if it's gonna be hard to fit in this little baby, baby bowl. All right. In a small pot, bring it to a boil, add noodles, breaking up if desired. There, I broke them up. Cook three minutes. So these are literally the exact same instructions as Top Ramen. I guess we, as a uh, as a world, have kind of nailed down what it takes to make ramen. Well, fuck, dude. I guess... Yeah, look at that. It does say white chicken broth. Um, well, while, while this is boiling, I did also get a traditional Japan crate from them, so we can have a little bit of bonus content. If y'all are feeling that, let me, let me prep the bonus content over here. Get that old, that old knife. Someone says crack an egg in it. Again, it's a little advanced for my blood. What am I, a chef? Come on, get in there, knife. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. <laughs> this is how it says, if you go to the Japan Crate website, this is how it says to do it. You get, you kind of squat, and you try to get the knife up under it for, ma for the maximum leverage. <laughs> Veronica Babcock says that I use dry measuring cups, not liquid. This is, I'm 26 years old, and this is the first time that I have heard that there is a difference. All right, well, damn, dude, this turned into a real Japan Crate unboxing, too. Spoilers, I guess. I hope there's not an embargo on this Japan Crate. How are you doing? I can't believe that I'm literally... This is a stream of water boiling, and the number of people viewing it is going up instead of down. That's backwards. All right, we've got some frog. Some frog chips. We've got 
Oh, the classic blue tube. Everyone loves that. Um, oh, we got these hilarious little broccoli broccoli guys. This looks like some sort of matcha vibe. Probably dope. What are you? You look, you're some biscuits. I'm really excited to eat the little frog frog fella. This is a very long Kit Kat. Nope, just kidding. It's a some sort of flappy flappy taffy. It's always fun to like go back after and see <laughs> see if I was even remotely. <laughs> Someone said there's a wet knife. I have to use a dry one. Look, at, hold on. Let me let's zoom in on this fool. He's so cute. He's just a little cute. I wish Chad was here to see this. It's like a cute little Coca-Cola Coca-Cola man. And what's great is he's adorable, and I have two years to decide whether or not I want to kill him or not with my mouth. So that's exciting. Uh, we've got holy shit, some sort of Shinshan beverage. That's that's Shinshan, right? I'm not. Yeah, look at him. He loves to be stern. This is dense. Oh my god. So the last Japan crate I got came with like a peach soda in it that I am now going to spend the rest of my life mourning not having it. Um, it was so fucking good and I want it again. I'm, normally I wouldn't be excited for an orange drink, but if it's if the Sangria thing is the same thing. I think it's the same brand as this. Oh my god. These are some fucking... I didn't know these were real. These look like the little things the little spirited away dudes eat. So that's exciting. The little, you know the little coal dudes? You know what I'm talking about. Oh, we got that, those Sankaku crackers. Someone said those are sugar rocks. Tight, I like rock candy, so sign me up. It's rock candy in an adorable form. This is uh, a little building for your mouth. So they've got buildings for your mouth now. Sometimes they print a little overlay sticker on here, but not always. That tells you exactly what it is, but I can check the manual later. I don't want to spoil it. We got the Moguchu with two U's. So Chu is a smooch. So this is a strawberry smooch, I am deciding, using my expertise to determine that. Um, I am seeing strawberry juice on the ingredients, so come on, focus. Come on! I'm going to have to do the fucking, I'm going to have to do the YouTube, the YouTuber thing of just put my hand there. There we go. What's going on? I mean, I really should have waited for uh, Chad. You would have loved this. It's got the lemon chan joints. Look at these, look at these clowns. These, I have a smaller number of months to eat. What are you doing? There we go. Oh my god, speaking of a Mamma Mia pasta pizza, spaghetti uh, pizza pie, I have pizza bag. <laughs> it looks like you put a lid over the top. What kind of fucking advanced tech? I don't need no lid. I got patience. And also, I do have a lid. And look at that. It's the perfect size. <laughs> What's great about this technique of putting a too big lid over a tiny pot is that the condensation will actually, uh, like get all up on the lid, drip down the sides, and then just get on the fire and just make a lot of awful steaming and popping noises. Um, someone says, where do I find this treasure? Just Google that, I guess. That'll do it. That'll do the trick. We've got, we're down to the last couple things. We've got, what could, what could this be? Some sort of fucking... It's extreme, it's extremely light. I cannot... I can't overstate how lightweight it is. Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Gotta love that awful hissing. Yeah, that's how you know it's ready. Uh, it's boiling. How am I gonna fit? Oh my god. I'm gonna have to do this one-handed. Him. Here we go. I don't. I can't see the screen right now, so I don't know if y'all can see anything. So, <laughs> this looks like a very, let's say, traditional ramen brick. 
Uh, I gotta set a timer for three minutes, so I'm gonna get the get the. Wow, that's a big packet. Compare that to the. Uh, not to get too nitty gritty, but classic ramen packet is maybe a quarter the size of that, which has me optimistic about the flavor the flavor situation we might be about to find ourselves in. Get in there, and I'm gonna just poke the the hell out of it with a classic cooking classic cooking fork. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. <laughs> I'm a chef. Do the class this is a Gordon Ramsay move called Get In There. Woo! She's hot. That's how you know it's working. Yeah, get in there. I'm doing a good job. While it's cooking, we've still got a couple couple more things here. I think this is kind of the last item. I still don't know what any of this stuff is. Um, what could you be? I see kind of a tomato vibe on the packaging, but there's no... And then a pea thing going on down there. Maybe I just bust these open right now and eat them like... Eat them with sight unseen. And just try to determine it using my uh, thoughts and knowledges. What are you? Come on. All right. Ugh. Can't be... Victoria's out here giving actual spoilers <laughs> for these treats. Because Victoria knows some Japanese, and I know zero of this. All right. These look like uncooked noodles, and it's not fair, and I'm sure that's not what they are. Well, I'm actually not sure that's not what they are. Maybe, like, am I supposed to... What if... <laughs> I'm now realizing there's like a 15% chance that I'm not supposed to just raw dog these, but... I don't know, dude. Okay. These are meant to be eaten. I'm like, I'm like up to, I'm going to say I'm 85% sure. So people are saying they're made of peas. That makes sense. They taste like, um, there's a product called, um, like crisp peas or something that my dad loves. I don't think they sell at Whole Foods. How much time is left on the timer? I don't know if y'all are ready. Oh, is the noodles cooked? Let's find out. Oh, fuck. Okay. Oh shit, dude. I don't know what the next step is. Remove from heat. Stir in seasoning. Alright, are you guys cooked? Come on, you little, you little clowns. Okay. Let's get that ton tonkotsu base going. This is going to be a fun dinner. Here's a situation I'm not normally in. A situation where I have... <laughs> never in my life have I been in a situation where I'm making ramen, and if I am still hungry afterwards, I have a fucking hundred thousand other ramens to eat. This is, this is what I imagine it's like to be a wealthy king. Get in there. You son of a gun. See, I actually... Ooh, it smells good. I actually prefer to do this process in the bowl. Oh, shit. People are saying that I might hurt this. Let's see. Did I hurt the... Oh, look. The tablecloth's doing just just fine. I'm out of... I'm completely out of counter space because I got too much Japan stuff. Let 
There we go. It does. You know what's crazy? Even though it's a, like a chicken broth, but it's kind of that looks like a tonkotsu broth. It's got the, that kind of a kind of a tan color to him. Let's put him in a nice bowl. This looks like a good. This looks like a good bowl. <coughs> is this still too hot to touch? Yep, it is. But here I go. <coughs> I made it. I did it. Sorry, I didn't like crack an egg in it. Oh shit! What the fuck am I doing with a fork? I don't need a fork. Where are the chopsticks? Where are you? That's right. How am I gonna... Wait, hold on. I think I got this. If I hold it over the, the soup, it'll melt the plastic, and then it'll be easier to get open. Fuck! Alright, I've got my baby chopsticks. Here's how I need to hold it. I hope I do a good job. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh my god, they're connected. Ew. <laughs> it's like this awful rubber. <laughs> I hate it. Also, I'm left-handed, so is this even gonna, like, work? For my fucking mutant hands? I'm trying to pull focus. Apologies. They want me to have this, my thumb go through here, and my fingers go through these, dis, these, man, I don't like, <laughs> ugh. Okay, I'm gonna, sl ew, I'm gonna slide these bad boys down a bit to accommodate my non, this is the worst thing that's ever happened. <laughs> Wait, I missed. Wrong, wrong fingers. Okay, got you. I got you. This sucks. This sucks so bad. I can't get <laughs> anything past my fingertip in there. Did I put it on backwards? My finger's turning red. <laughs> All right, now I'm ready. I'm just gonna fucking walk downtown, go into like a high-end ramen place and be like, I'm fucking ready for my meal. Yeah. Help! I'm stuck. I can't be freed from this ramen prison. Alright, where's my dong? I need my dangle. Where's my fucking... Where's my... There it is. Let me get my... Get out of... Excuse me. There we go. This, man, I was so, I was so excited about this and I still am, but the fact that I'm making myself use these baby chopsticks is life, life ruiningly bad. Ugh. So now I've got to, oh my god, you f stupid fucking awful spider. Just stand up. I gotta loosen, I gotta make it loosey goosey. There we go. Now it's ready for a good ramen review. <laughs> gotta snap this in there, don't mind me. Hopefully, it doesn't press the lock screen or this whole stream is over.
Get in there. Does Periscope still let you archive videos of your phone? I don't remember. I need a haircut so fucking bad, dude. Okay, hold on. I, man, I, I'm gen it's not even a joke. I'm genuinely dreading having to put my fingers into these rubber. Maybe I just don't do it. Well, hold on. It's, I want to entertain the possibility that, like, for a right-handed person, maybe these would make sense. I mean, it's still, you can't fit a human thumb in there, but... Yeah, this, oh, wow. Oh, no. I can't even separate. You know. All right, here's what I'm gonna do. Ugh. Hopefully, none of that went into my ramen. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna. This is this is so much. All right, this is. I. There we go. This is still awful. This is still like the shortest baby is chopsticks. <laughs> and they're like, check this out, they're like blunt at the end. So you can't like, I guess, hurt yourself. I, on, I, some, I regret throwing that fork. This is so much harder than real chopsticks, I swear to God. They're like slippery and slidey. People were saying, people are sad that I destroyed them. I can still put it back together, I think. It's got like little holes. Maybe, maybe, okay, I didn't even try it with them. Maybe, oh shit, wait, that means that I can like reverse it and make it like left-handed friendly, in theory. If I was a left-handed baby, <laughs> that would be great. <laughs> All right. Oh my God, I, don't touch me. I'm gonna start crying, this is so frustrating. Okay. I just wish I had normal human chopsticks. This is really good. That's kind of nuts that it... I didn't know, like, this kind of shows my ignorance, I guess. I did not know there was such thing as instant tonkatsu ramen. Like, I didn't know they made that. Is it still hot? You tell me, dog. Look at this. Look at this. Ow. It didn't hurt, but it is still hot. This is actually really dank. I think I maybe cheated by going for the flavor that I knew I was gonna love. I t there was actually, there was a period of time in my life for like years where I just was like, maybe I don't like ramen. Like maybe I just don't enjoy real ramen. Cause I would, I've been living in San Francisco for like three or four years and I was going to ramen places and every time I was like, yeah, I guess it's okay. And then I had tonkotsu ramen for the first time and I was like, oh fuck, oh, I just came apart. I was like, oh fuck, this is actually, this is, this is what I wanted. This is good. Okay, I'll just do that. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> That's right. I hope you guys can hear, listen to this sound. That's what good ramen sounds like. I got, uh, you can't see it. There's like ramen all over my um, iPhone. What if I just, what if I just drumline it into my mouth like a little You know, I thought, I, I gotta admit, I was skeptical that, um, that these baby chopsticks were gonna teach me how to use chopsticks, but what do you know? And now I'm an expert. How the fuck are there 740 people watching ramen fall out of my mouth?
Yeah, and like, I'm probably... I should go get the packaging. I'm probably not telling you anything that isn't obvious, but this is so much fucking better than Le Top Ramen. It's like... I actually wish I had never had it, because now I have... I don't want to ever eat the Top Ramen I grew up with ever again. And you know what it is? It's, um... It's a good middle ground between... Like... Between instant ramen and real ramen. And it's a middle ground I didn't know existed. I did not know you could have decent instant ramen. <laughs> I literally didn't know that it existed. How does it compare to regular chicken top ramen? I So I am not used to that flavor. I'm used to the top ramen that comes in the kind of the blue bag. Um, and those, those are the ones with the super, super tiny flavor packets that I'm talking about. Good Sir Jimmy says, did they send Japanese drinks? Well, I got a Japan crepe and um, and this ramen Japan crate. And the the traditional candy Japan crate came with like an orange soda, but it, I, it has not been refrigerated, so I'm not, I'm not jumping to try it. This fucking bear, dude. I'm actually, you know what? As stupid and tiny as these chopsticks are, and even though there's only about an inch of workable chopstick space when I'm holding them with adult hands, um, I got used to them. So, like, within a few minutes, I forgot that I was complaining about them. Oh, we got a straggler. Why is the number of viewers not going down? This is baffling to me. I don't understand. Oh my god, I tried to, like, clean... There was, like, a... There was a smudge next to the camera, and I tried to wipe it, and it actually made it way worse. Things looked fine until I touched it. Now it looks like a um, 60 Minutes interview. This is, um, this is nuts, dude. I need to go get like a paper towel and clean the phone. I'm also gonna grab the packaging so you can see exactly which one I'm talking about. Oh. Hold on. There we go. Okay, that's HD. I hate seeing these. I just looked at my table and saw these awful rubber things that are intended to keep baby fingers permanently attached to chopsticks. Uh, anyways, here's the one I'm eating now. Yeah, Asriel was saying that Ichiban is the best brand of instant ramen he's ever had. That's what this is. This is Ichiban's uh, Tonkotsu Ramen. Still, like, um... Not what I, like, the idea of tonkotsu ramen that is made with chicken broth instead of pork broth is weird to me. It's hard for me to fathom, but it tastes really good, so I don't give a shit, really. Um, interestingly, some of the stuff in that crate seems like it was manufactured in Japan. This is actually, like, all the packaging is in English, and um, it says, like, manufactured by Sanyo Foods of America. So I think you could probably get this, like, at a store. But I got it in that crate. It's behind me. That one. Oh fuck. Oh no. The camera's falling. It's okay, I'm just gonna follow it. This is a good dinner. I was going in, I don't know, I think maybe part of this is that I was like, it's gonna be ramen. Like, how, if it's, if I'm making it over my oven, how is it not just gonna be ramen? I recently realized, literally it was this week that I realized, because I bought some top ramen at the store because I thought I would be nostalgic for it. And I um, kind of hated it. <laughs> I bought like three packets of it. And by the second packet, I was like, I need to just, because this just tastes like salt. Um, and, I thought I was over ramen, and I'm not. Or instant ramen. 
God, Sue says, where did you get that bowl from? I don't know. It's I think it's Andy's. It's not mine. I haven't, I'm realizing now I haven't talked about what it tastes like that much other than to say it's good. It tastes like tonkatsu ramen mixed, like, it tastes like 80% like tonkatsu ramen, 20% like instant top ramen. Um, the flavor is different from like a pork tonkatsu ramen, but also I want to have like a pork tonkatsu instant ramen so I have some point of comparison. Um, it's one thing that's pretty cool about it is it's not, um, it's not like overwhelmingly salty, which is absolutely not true of of like top ramen, you know what I mean? Like, I I could see myself actually drinking the broth on this, which I would never in a million fucking years do with top ramen because it's just a bowl of salt water. Uncle Kilroy says, "So it's actually good." Yeah, it's actually good. I'm a little. I, again, though, I feel like the one that I tried <clears throat> was the one that I'd be most likely to love. There are some in that box, some some noodle dishes in that box that I am less certain of how I'll how I'll react to, but I'm excited to try them all. Um, in part because <clears throat> I love having a food item that I don't have to leave my house to get. Boo Booga says, "Have you already said where you got those amazing chopsticks?" I'll show you. So for people, because there's a lot more people watching now than when I started. Uh, this is part of a new, oh fuck, <laughs> uh, Japan Crate thing called Umai Crate. So it's just like the Japan Crate thing where they send you a box of candy, except for they send you, oh, this is not in focus, they send you a bunch of noodle dishes. And these chopsticks came as part of it. So the one that I'm eating now, god, it's not in focus at all, is uh, this guy. Try it with shredded chicken, sky, and boiled egg. Um, but there's a bunch of other stuff in here. Uh, there's another Ichiban one, which is the miso? No, the miso one is down here. Anyways, there's a bunch of stuff. I'm fucking completely baffled by the pepperoncino spaghetti. I can't... I, there's so many layers... Discation to that of, like... It's an instant noodle version of a Japanese version of an Italian dish. Like, what... There's... <laughs> it's, like food telephone. Like, how does that work? Yeah, that's like a drinkable instant ramen broth, which is fucking wild. I don't know if there was such a thing. If I break a thousand viewers on this periscope of me eating instant ramen in my kitchen, I'm gonna fucking shit. That doesn't make any sense. Territorial Tea says, but are you really gonna eat them? Um, I'm gonna try them. I'm not the type of person who will eat a thing out of obligation, like, <clears throat> if I cook it and I try it and I hate it, I'm not gonna force myself to finish the dish. I will throw it out. That's, that's not how I, that's not how I work. Um, a few people have asked about the music. I'm listening to this, I don't know any, uh, it's in my, uh, SoundCloud likes, but it's a machine drum, uh, hour-long mix that I found on SoundCloud. This guy says, how are the noodles? I'm gonna say, they're good noodles. Um, I'm gonna do something really tacky. Um, if you want to just tweet out this Periscope link with no context and see if we can get it over a thousand people, just to know that it happened, because like, I need to. I guess I need to have, make a reason for that. I'll, I can upgrade it to a me eating candy. Um, that would be fucking really hilarious to me, because I've I've used Periscope intermittently before, but I, I, something about the noodle thing, I guess, plays well. I'm, out, I'm literally about to, like, fucking finish this. Let's go to the candy zone. <laughs> There's not, I don't know why, the locked camera perspective is the funny, because you just, in all of television and cinema, you never, ever, ever see this camera angle. Oh shit, you want to see a fucking 4D? Look 
at that, there's still some noodles left. Noodles. Oh, I kept my eyeball open for too long. <laughs> I love the idea of doing a whole stream just as a confused dad who, how do I tighten this up? It's very loosey goosey. Who um, accidentally zooms in at the beginning of his periscope. Why is it so loose? <laughs> Maybe I am him. Maybe, maybe I'm making fun of his dad because I'm self-conscious of the fact that I am a confused dad. I'm going to screw this thing in real tight. But I love the idea of a, of a dad who accidentally zooms in like this at the beginning of his periscope and then just never undoes it. He's like, hello everyone, today we're going to be eating uh, some type of uh, noodle. It go, it, wait, that's it. noodles we're also going to be here's what i'm going to do i'm going to um let y'all oh man I'm, come on poor poor phone i got a bunch of fucking candy and i don't know what any of it is except for that one of them is pea flavored that's the pea candy there's the orange beverage i'm going to just kind of eyeball it by looking at there's this log <laughs> It's got kind of a fun, I have no fucking idea. We got the long Coca-Cola thing. We got the building flavored candy. So I'm going to let y'all pick. We got the Shin Chan, that would be tight. It's a color changing Shin Chan beverage. These little matcha boys. These fucking frog flavored. Victoria, I hope you're still watching this. Look at this little frog man. Look at this little frog man. Uh, these lemon dudes are- Oh fuck, there's faces on the individual guys! Yeah, there's a frog cop. Let me show you who I'm talking about. This is the lemon man. He only comes around every 100 years. Now I'm doing a trade-off. I'm doing a tweet, and by doing a tweet, I'm boring the shit out of everyone who's watching this. Alright, it's done. But maybe that'll push us over the edge. Um, fuck, what do I eat, though? <laughs> Somebody called them Pepe candies. Fuck off. Uh, there is this pizza candy that I am not in the mood to eat. I'm not, I, oh, wait, where's the guidebook? Because we can just fucking, <clears throat> I'll read to y'all the list of what's, what all's in here. Um, too many words. Jesus fucking Christ, a thousand people. I don't understand the web. Sometimes, for my job, I have to t be like, oh, I understand the web. But that's a bunch of, uh, bullshit, because I was like feeling alone in my house because my roommates aren't here and I started streaming me eating ramen and now a thousand people are looking at that. Um, man, y'all missed the best part where like I threw the fork and shit. Alright, here's what we got. Let me get somewhere with good lighting. Here's a breakdown of every, every candy. We got that mogu chew chewing candy. It's hard to chew gum in Japan as public trash bins are hard to find and spitting gum on the street is frowned upon. Uh, but this shit is a strawberry flavored chewing candy that's not gum, so don't get it twisted. We got the Satori Matcha. It's soaked, so there's soaked puffs with a matcha sauce. And if you look at the packaging, you can see the soaking process. Oh, yeah, boy, Um, I'm gonna go real fast. Uh, we got ramune candy. How the fuck does that work? How do you make ramune into? Oh my god, they're like little bottles. We got the Pucci Konpito. We got the Usuyaki Cookie. Um, the Sankaku Vegetable Crackers. We got the Tohato Mamasupi Chips. We got that special pizza flavored Texas Corn. 
JC and, and Anko tried their hand at mad science to make pizza and end up with these, exclamation mark, no space, capital T. Texas corn is a brand of chips in Japan, and in this month's crate we have special pizza flavor. Each puff tastes like pizza sauce. Jesus Christ. Um, we got the Chin Chan Experimental Drink. And then in the premium crate, which I think is the one they sent me, I got that, I almost said Mayan soda. It's a Mekon soda. Uh, it's a peeled citrus so it's not orange. I was fucking super wrong. People seem way into the pizza thing. I'll do the pizza thing. It was important, y'all. I got that Yaokin Fugashi. I got that Lemon Chan candy. It's not that sour. I got that Mitarashi Fumi Kiwi Dango bonus. <laughs> uh, that's a traditional sweet in Japan. So that's the one, that's that weird log. And then I got that sour cola paper. How the fuck can it be cola flavored and sour paper? flavor someone said shout out your referral code i don't have a referral code they just mailed me one that's a good it's a good idea though go to crunchyroll.com slash babylonian to sign up <laughs> for anime that has nothing to do with this um fuck though what do i eat so people are saying all right victoria's saying cola flavor and sour paper uh i'm into the sour paper and i guess i gotta try the pizza one is there anything else that jumps out at y'all as something worth trying what what should I eat? Let's do a quick let's do a quick haul. Yeah, we got it. All right, we got it. Obviously, this sour Coca Cola man is important. I guess I'm ah, the frog. I still don't know what he is. Um, fucking wait, where's the? Oh, I gotta get these fucking these guys just for my own edification. These biscuits look like so tame and classy on some fucking young pilgrim pil pil pilgrim pig pep, uh, pepperidge farms type deal whatever i'm taking this and this and where did i put the stupid pizza ones all right let's do this I... where are you pizza the frog, got it. Lemon. Oh no. And I'll I'll take the, the strawberry thing. Alright. <laughs> I'm setting up my candy review tripod. <clears throat> I need a little palate cleanser. I'm gonna find the pizza. Calm down. Uh, I'm not going to not find the pizza, but I think I should save it for last. Um, so let's start simple. With these little fucking spirited away uh, enchanted dust Johns. Ugh. I don't, you want to know how fucking tired I am? I was, my hand wasn't in focus, so I just went... I almost tapped my hand in real life to make the camera focus on it. Making a small mess. These are, they appear to be all... pink and white. Come on. I guess the front-facing camera can't focus. I think it's just fucking sugar, but I'll find out. They're not. They're not. Whoever told me that these were just gonna be sugar was lying. Maybe the maybe the white ones are and the pink ones aren't. Oh shit, there's a green one. Okay. So let me read up on this. Yeah, they're crunchy. It says here. This is the ramen one. Where the fuck is my book? <clears throat> okay. The Pucci Compedo is this Starship Candy is one of Japan's most famous sweets as it's been featured in many movies and anime. <laughs> it's similar to rock candy and comes in a huge range of colors. We love using it to sweeten our coffee and tea. Okay, I'm just gonna have some white ones for like a palate cleanser. Um. Yeah, that just tastes like sugar. But the pink ones definitely had a flavor. Who 
Someone says, why aren't you just sucking on them? Because in this modern video economy, it's all about watch time. I can't afford for you to get bored. I might fall below the 1K threshold. This is the thing I'm literally the most scared of. Um, yeah, the pink one definitely has a different flavor to it. I couldn't, I can't really, maybe it's peach? Yeah. Listen to this. We want some ASMR. Check this out. Someone said, is it worth the price? You'd have to ask somebody else because they just mailed me this. I didn't buy it. So I don't feel... I have no idea. I literally have no idea what it costs. So I'm a bad person to, um, to tell you about the value proposition. But they're two separate products. So like... This is the Japan crate, which is mostly candy and sodas. Um, or 1.1 thousand. Jesus, Jesus Louise. This is the this is something I'm very excited about too. Um, this is the the thing that's like gum but not gum. Um, it's it's hard to chew gum. Gum in Japan is public trash cans are hard to find. I already read that part. Chewy candies, this is why it's more common to find chewy candies in Japan. Moguchu offers a sweet, sweet strawberry flavor with a nice chew to take the place of gum. So it's a gum replacement. So like if you were addicted to cigarettes and you started chewing nicotine gum and then you got tired of having gum everywhere, you could use this to kind of continually wean yourself off. Someone said Umai Crate or Japan Crate. I just did the Umai Crate. I'm doing the Japan Crate now. Um... I feel like Moguchu must be a combination of like, I actually don't, I can't speak confidently about that, but Chu, CHU is like a smooch on on a pia. So maybe it's like strawberry smooch. It smells, it smells good. Um, it's, I, don't, I don't know if you can tell, but it's very white. I was one of the dumbest scent in my whole life. That's one of the dumbest sentences that's ever come out of my mouth. I said, I don't know if you can tell. <laughs> But this is white. Um, oh, it's so hard. Oh, I thought I was going to... I'm not even... Okay. I'm going to pull it out. Bear with me. It's getting not... That was three really hard bites. Oh, my gosh. Owie. Fuck. Oh, my God. I really got to... I really gotta work. This is taking. You know how on your computer when you open the task manager, and it should, my CP, my fucking CPU levels at ninety nine percent, using all my energy, all my brain power. Okay. I don't know what to compare that to. It was so hard at first. I can't overstate. But now it's like, now it's really going. It was only, you know what it was like? It doesn't taste like it at all. But the texture was like, I'm so sorry I'm talking with this in my mouth. The texture was like, you know, Sugar Daddy? I don't know if they have that outside of North Carolina. But the Sugar Daddy is literally just a popsicle, or a, I told you, my brain's not working. A lollipop stick with like a fat fucking hunk of caramel on it. Um, and I don't know if that's like a southern thing or what, but that has the exact texture of that of like, if you go into it just trying to like, oh, I'm just going to chomp, I'm just going to chew, uh, no, like you can't do that, you'll fucking die. Um, but once you get it going, it's actually, I will say, actually I'll dial that back a bit. I've had situations where I've been eating a sugar daddy and been like, oh, I'm going to die. I, this thing is going to kill me. This is the last thing I'm ever going to eat. Um... I did not feel that way with this at any point. I was never in mortal terror the way I am with a sugar daddy. Um, but at first, I will say I was very surprised. If you get this Japan crate, be warned that these things, you're going to need to like block out five minutes in Google Calendar. Fuck! And just, <laughs> and just really focus all your energy on it. Because it's, it's brutal. Okay, what's next? Am I just going to fucking do the... 
I'm going to read that because I know we got a lot of new people here. I'm going to really quickly just say what this is. This thing with his little Coca-Cola man on it, who I really love the appearance of. I do like looking at him a lot. Um, he is sour cola. I'm sorry, I keep eating. So do you just keep chewing the strawberry thing or do you swallow it? I think you swallow it. Because the whole point is that unlike gum, which you have to put somewhere, like Japan, I don't know if, if you haven't been to Tokyo, um, it's, there's like no, it's, there's this weird dichotomy. Uh, that's probably not, I'm not using that word right, but there's this weird thing where in Japan, there are no garbage cans anywhere and there's also no garbage. Like somehow everyone has agreed to just not throw shit on the ground, which is somehow a revolutionary concept here, but uh, it's just not shitty and gross there. Like, it's simultaneously cl the cleanest place you've ever been in your life. Like, a fucking trash utopia. And there's no trash cans anywhere. Like, uh, part of that, I think, is that culturally, you don't do something we do here. In Japan, culturally, it's not common to walk around while eating and drinking. You're not gonna, like, unless you're, like, a fucking tourist uh, like me, who just is an embarrassment already, you're not gonna walk around and, like, drink a soda or eat a snack or something that's like kind of uniquely western i think and so as a result like when you walk up to because there, there's vending machines everywhere as you walk up to a soda machine in japan there are little recycle zones next to it uh and the intention is that you will drink your drink in front of the vending machine and then dispose of it when you're done um which is pretty different from how we do it here um anyways this thing is called sour cola paper candy um, and I don't understand how all those, I really actually don't understand how any of those four words can be used together. Sour and cola don't go together. Cola and paper don't go together. Paper and candy don't go together. But this is sour cola paper candy. And I'm going to have to just destroy this cute boy. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Full Marks. I know you came back just to see how he's doing. Well, the answer is not so good. I have bisected him. It's got, the packaging feels very like an airhead. Uh, which is not an interesting thing to say at all, but I felt pressured to kind of vamp and keep talking uh, to keep the kind of the momentum up, and so that's why I said it. I, I want you all to guess what this looks like, because I can see it right now and you can't, and I want to see what people think it's going to look like. It's not, I would not, if you gave me ten guesses, I would have gotten it wrong. Oh, I'm smelling it now. I'm getting, I'm jumping the gun. Um, someone says, dude, when you're coming to China... Uh, I've only been to China in like layovers, uh, but I've never like, I barely left the, the airport. A ribbon, tape, bacon. Uh, Asriel <laughs> said bacon. That's probably the best thing. Young Alien said fruit roll-up style. No. Asriel, you were probably the closest, but not really. It's like, you know those sour straw things that come in like a strip? Uh, this is that, but it's the color of Coca-Cola. So... It's, I guess it's kind of, in hindsight, 2020 hindsight is what you'd expect. It's a strip that's Coke-colored. It does look kind of like some weird bacon, uh, but it's got that sour powder to it that we all know and love. So I, I'm going to assume that if I yank him, if I tug him, he'll peel. And I was, I was kind of right. It does just peel right off. This is fucking, man, everything about... The sour cola paper candy has lived up to my expectations in terms of it just being a fucking mystery, mystery food. I had to, I don't know if you could see it. When I set it, when I set it down on the table, I had to like fold it. Oh, now it's starting to look like that beautiful Christmas ribbon candy. <laughs> Isn't that cute? I'm going to just eat this. It smells like Diet Coke. I don't know why that would be, but that's what it makes my brain think of. What the fuck? Hold on. I wish I could... I wish I could, like, play back all the things that just happened in my mouth in slow motion and think about them one at a time. Because it was five things in, like, four seconds. The first... Okay. Weirdly, it's getting sour at the end. I thought that it was going to be covered in a sour powder... But it turns out, the gum, the goop, I can't think. Well, the chewy part is the sour part. That's so backward. That's not what I thought was going to happen. Okay. 
Um, I'm gonna fucking take another bite. I need to know because there's a flavor that like like a soda actually. There's a specific soda that it tastes like at first. And I had it, and then I lost it, because, like, eight other flavors hit me at once. I got the powder, I got the sour. Kind of Dr. Pepper, but then the second I say that, I get flooded. Oh, there's a bad flavor in there. That's interesting. They actually, in between the good flavors, they chose to put just, like, a... Here's the good flavor. Oh, the soda, here's a good flavor of the sour. And they chose to put a bad flavor in the middle to keep you guessing. Yeah, I haven't found that I like the beginning of it. And then there's like six seconds in the middle where it tastes like not good. And then I like it again. Um, let me just grab the box. Um, I just got the low power warning from... My phone. So, I'm at 20% battery. Okay. What is left for me to do besides the pizza thing? I've got the, I've got the frog flavored, like, officer frog who wears his hat on one of his eye lumps. I don't, it's, why is there a frog on it? It can't, there's no way, it's, it's not, he's just the mascot. There's no way it tastes like frog. Uh, this seems basic enough that I'm gonna try it. These are like a lemon, lemon, lemon chan. Yep, that's what it says, lemon chan. Um, and I'm hoping, A, that it's a good palate cleanser after that fucking emotional roller coaster of a treat I just ate. And B, that uh, they have multiple faces on them. That's all I can really ask for. So I'm just going to pull out a handful without looking. Still haven't looked at them. And then I'm going to angle it up and we can look together. I should actually just throw them on the table. All right. Only one of these is face up right now. So we still don't know the exact status of their faces. There's that one. Oh, we got a winker. At first I thought he was the same, but he's not. He's a winker. That dude is very on brand for me. We got this guy who's winking really hard. This guy, okay. They're each vying for my attention. They each want me to gobble them up. And at first I thought I was going to gobble you up because you're moderately cute. But then you winked at me and I was like, you're next in line. But look at this fucking guy. Could they possibly surpass him? I feel like the answer is no, but what are you? You're another winker, don't who needs you? And you're another winker. So you're the lucky you're the lucky boy today. You're the candidate. I'm just gonna just gonna birth you right out. Rip it with my teeth a little, don't mind me. So I thought this was gonna be like a uh, a lifesaver. And it does, right? It looks like a lifesaver. Why are you static? The static electricity is going to be... This looks like a lifesaver, right? This is going to be fun. Here's a fun little optical illusion for you. <laughs> See this lifesaver? It's a classic run-of-the-mill lifesaver. But what happens when, when Nick rotates it? Oh my fucking god. It's a thick-ass monster truck wheel that I can roll around my home. It's gigantic. Look at the thickness on that. One of these will do you in for probably upwards of I'm gonna say 120 seconds it is thick it is a it is a big lifesaver um, just kind of go on this little treat adventure um, so I'm gonna eat wait I'll tap it I'm gonna eat this wheel now all aboard That's kind of what I wanted. I wanted a neutral, sort of a palate cleansing. Something I could trust. After that, after that monstrosity. And that's what I got. Do you guys want to see something fucked up? 
That wasn't it. Here's a fucked up thing. I, it's been so long since I've done anything to my facial hair. So I grew this beer on accident. Someone said, can you whistle through the hole? I was trying, I couldn't really. <sighs> my facial hair has gotten so unkempt and so shitty that I can, I can actually, I can actually go full San Francisco fucking Captain Jack Sparrow and just, <laughs> just curl it up. And what if that's my look now? What if this is the new me? What if I look like one of those stand-up comedians who wears like a full suit? <laughs> this owns. I was gonna go to the barber shop and see if they wouldn't mind taking care of this, but now, why would I? Someone said needs wax. <laughs> Does it? Who can say? Movie is, movie is good the way it is. My viewers have dropped from 1.5 thousand to 7 people after doing that. It's just so... Um, R. Boz KJ says, Dude have suggest some anime movies, dot dot dot. Um, watch Paprika, that's a good movie. I have to go find my pizza thing, and I think I'm going to wrap up with that. But first I'm going to spit this lemon thing into the sink. <laughs> but where's the pizza, though? It's our good friend Pizza Snack. I've never done a periscope this long in my life. It is 150% by the fact that people are still watching. The content does not demand this type of time commitment, but I'm sticking around till the bitter end, and by the bitter end I mean um, giving you what you wanted. I'm eating, what's it even called? I do like, hold on, not to change the subject completely, I don't know if I can pull focus uh, with the front-facing camera, but look, at that. I like this mascot going on, she's doing a science experiment with Shin-Chan to make me drink a, a scary drink. Um, I'm assuming this is also part of that, because this right here is my, <laughs> I'm going to say the name again because it's, it's my favorite fucking thing. This is the special pizza flavored Texas corn. Special pizza flavored Texas corn. Special pizza flavored Texas corn, lettuce, cheese, pickles, onions on a sesame seed bun. Charles S. Charles says, let me know if you taste the pizza or the corn more. Is there a standard Texas corn? Man, I don't know what Texas corn is. Someone's saying it's corn nuts, but like, that doesn't look like corn nuts. That does not look like any corn nuts I've ever seen. Admittedly, I've only had corn nuts like twice in my life. So I don't. I feel like corn nuts look more like, um, like, what are they, the, like, uh, honey smacks. You know the cereal honey smacks? Alright, here we go. Uh, this stuff expires December 12th, 20, or December 15th, 2016. So I've got a limited time. I gotta hurry. Not corn pops, the, uh, some of those I bet they taste amazing. It's... I'm not so sure. <laughs> anyway, and it business. I feel like All Might would advertise Texas corn. I was at a, a store recently and I saw the uh, the My Hero Academia manga, and I picked it up. And on the back they had like Mount Lady advertising, I think a like a beauty product or something. I love that idea of the in hero or the in universe heroes having marketing campaigns like that. What does it smell like? That's a great question. Let me. Um, it smells like a, like a, it, you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of putting my nose, and who hasn't done this, putting my nose into a whole tube of 
craft shredded Parmesan cheese, you unscrew that cap, you pop that on your nose, and you breathe as much of it in as you can until you go to the hospital. And that's what I feel like I've done. It smells like Parmesan cheese, kind of. With a little, like, a, maybe a black pepper vibe. Man, I'm loving these emojis. They're really getting me into, like, uh, mental. It's helping me single out each ingredient psychologically. Uh, they're extremely round. I feel like I could roll these things down a hill with ease. They Someone said I love kicks. They do look like kicks. Well, they're bigger than kicks, right? They're bigger than any cereal. And they're also extremely light. Look at that. I can... Look at the, look at the amount of air time they get. They're so puffed up. Oh my gosh. Feeling a little bit of queasiness in the stomach. But that could be the result of so many things. They're really... I guess I'd just lick it. I feel like if I got any moisture on it, it would just vanish. It would just dissolve into a puddle. They taste like... Okay. Let's say you took... And I realize I'm in the minority on this, but I'm firmly on team um, puffed Cheetos over crunchy Cheetos. I think crunchy Cheetos are dog shit, and I think puffed Cheetos, or specifically Wise brand puffs, are way, way, way better. Um, this tastes like that. This tastes like that, but with an extremely soft texture. I could just, if I wanted to, I could just watch this. And it's gone. It's just, look, it's just a powder. I could just, and it's vanished. It's like a magic trick. Um, <laughs> that's how, if that gives you any sense of how fragile these things are. <laughs> they're just, if you, you yeah, it's just, whew. <laughs> yep, JV Empire says, it's the Joker trick. Yeah, I did the trick that the Joker does in The Dark Knight. Um, they don't taste like pizza to me. Well... You know what they do taste like? It tastes like a... This is a crazy sentence. They taste like a subtle version of pizza goldfish. If if pizza goldfish had restraint and class, they would be this. I think showing an actual fucking photograph of pizza on the bag is maybe... End up making the bag out of an actual Italian flag. They went to Italy and they tore down an Italian flag and made it... This is fabric. I don't know if you can tell. That was probably a little much. But they're good. They're not gross at all. The concept is ridiculous. And I don't know that I would call them special pizza flavored Texas corn. But they're good. They really are. Again, not to not to make not to uh, hammer this point too hard, but like literally I just take my thumb and I go like that and then it's gone. <laughs> um <laughs> with one finger! Um, anyways. I can't believe 1.6 thousand people are watching this. I'm imagining that, like, 1.2 thousand of these people are people who are, like, in bed and opened Periscope and saw this in their recommended streams and were like, what? How the fuck have 20 minutes passed? How did I do this to myself? How did my life get to this point? If you're one of those people, I guess you can... I don't... I literally don't even know how Periscope works. I think you can follow me on Periscope and then you'll be notified when I do streams in the future. Uh, a way better thing to do would be to follow me on Twitter.com at Twitter.com slash Babylonian because that's the only website I actually use. I use Periscope about every three months. Um, and maybe it's presumptuous of me to think that anyone wants to see this again. I know I don't. Um, but yeah, thank you for joining me on this adventure. I'm so sorry to abandon 1.6 thousand people, which by the way is a magnitude of order more people have ever than have ever watched me on Twitch. So what am I what am I doing with my life? Someone said Nick, do you use Polygon.com at all? Yeah, I do video production for Polygon. You can find my videos on youtube.com slash polygon right now. I'm doing a video series with my friend Griffin where we play this game that has extremely realistic car destruction and we just smash the cars in like fucked up ways. So this most recent episode we fired a cannonball into the side of a van and just watched it get destroyed in real time. That was pretty cool. Um I also do a pod... I'm just... I'm sorry, I don't normally do this. I have 1.6 thousand people watching me, so I'm going to do one last thing. Uh, me and Griffin have a podcast called Cool Games, Inc., where we take submissions from people like you. They submit us ideas for video games, like stupid, stupid fucking ideas for video games. And we 
workshop them until they're actual video actual video games. We talk about these submissions for an hour and make jokes. It's a comedy podcast. The people who have listened to it seem to enjoy it, which is nice. Um, and I'm very, very proud of it. We both are. So if you could listen to Cool Games, Inc., you can find it on iTunes or SoundCloud or whatever. Uh, I think it's very good. And lastly, just to wrap this up, I'm going to show you the best part. In case you don't have YouTube <laughs> where you live, in case you were watching this from a place where YouTube is banned. When I was in China, I that was a pretty wild thing to realize is that like every website is blocked. I'm just going to show you the best part of the of this new show we're doing, Carboys. I'm going to show it to you on my laptop. And then my, my phone's at 10%, so I'm going to stop after this. But look at this. Fuck! I'm using all my bandwidth on my phone. Here we go. Watch this. If you want more stuff like that, go to youtube.com slash polygon. I'm going to go to bed. Thank you for watching. My phone's at 5%, and if I don't end it right now, I won't be able to archive this video. Goodbye. I'm going to stop. Thank you for watching. I'll, I'll talk to you on the different websites. Go to bed. Bye.